Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. In this sketch, we're going to cover the most common form of arthritis, osteoarthritis. You might simply think it's a degenerative wear and tear process, yet there is a complex cycle of inflammation and protease activity brewing in there, hence itis in osteoarthritis. So, don't be fooled by its commonplace appearance. Like so many things, it's not what's on the outside, but what's on the inside that counts. And with that, let's set our scene inside one of the most famous architectural projects that, to this day, has yet to be finished. The Arthrata Familia. Gaze in awe at the beautiful, skeletal-like structures. What a perfect specimen to study the wondrous human joint. First, a quick refresher on normal synovial joint architecture, using this pillar here to illustrate. Notice how this pillar looks like two long bones which meet, or articulate, around a joint. At the base of the joint is the subchondral bone plate, which lies deep to the articular cartilage. This layer of bone has a couple of special functions. It acts as a gatekeeper, containing channels to allow cells to move into the joint, and it distributes the mechanical load evenly. The next layer is the articular cartilage, which plays a role in absorbing and distributing stress, represented by this bulbous joint of the pillar. The articular cartilage maintains homeostasis of the joint environment and provides a smooth surface for the gliding movements of the joint. Articular cartilage contains chondrocytes that secrete a meshwork of collagen, represented by our recurring shark symbol. And you'll notice that there are two shark goyles here, because we want you to remember that this is type 2 collagen specifically. Moving out to the fibrous joint capsule. The innermost layer of cells is called the synovial membrane, which we'll represent here with these polyvinyl sheets. Synovial kind of sounds like polyvinyl, right? Anyways, like this thin sheet, think of the normal synovial membrane as a thin, protective sheet that lines the fluid-filled synovial space. The cells of the synovium produce the synovial fluid that fills the joint space. The bones in your joint are under an incredible amount of pressure. In physics, we have a property called hydraulic fluidity, which uses a fluid to transfer and distribute force, hence the hydraulic jack used to lift this worker. And in our joints, we have synovial fluid. Think of synovial fluid as a lubricating shock absorber for the joint. Notice how this worker is applying a fresh coat of hyal lacquer to this joint? Well, synovial fluid contains a special fluid called hyaluronic acid, which acts as a natural lubricant for the joint. 